to be honest with you. Okay, so I am here. And I might ask, Raph, why are you here? This is a weird spot for you to be. Well, it's because when I was on my uh, other cutie patootie, getting my character set up, I found something that I missed on this playthrough. And I'm very excited. I just passed it, but I'm just making sure. Because I don't think I've ever been here. Have I been here? We're about to find out the moment of truth. I, look. I did not, okay. I thought that seal was a wall. I thought you couldn't pass it. It is not, it is passable. And I discovered that while I was looking for golden seeds on my other character. And then when I was there, I couldn't help but notice this red sign. And the red sign is to summon, be summoned to assist Yura. So I don't know how I missed that. So we're going to go do that um, real quick before we do the PvP. And also because I was like, whoa, I went over here and I found some wildly exciting stuff. How has an off stream character? It's a PvP tune that I've been playing on stream. I just got it set up off stream. Double Urumi? Ooh, yes. Go through the first seal wall? Well, it has a gate in front of it. So... It teleported you. So I didn't think you walked past it. Hi. Well, there's been an age since I've seen a yeah, maybe it's because you're inside a gate. In a place that is, like, impossible. So we're gonna buy this, we're gonna buy this, we're gonna buy this, and this, this... And this. Have a safe we have some stuff to read now, chat. Don't we? Fanged Imp Ashes. These spirits are well suited to causing a disturbance, moving nimbly like pests and hurling magic pots. The two imps seem fond of each other's company. Preceptor Celevis is hiding a dirty secret in a cellar among the ruins not far from the Sisters Three. The vile Graven Witch seems to be a frequent visitor to that place. I have no idea what this is talking about because I didn't find this. This I found Pitya, but this is different. So I need to figure out what this is. Now this is another thing I bought. The crawling royal revenants and their followers are all cursed. Healing powers will harm rather than mend. Just kind of cool lore. And this to oh sorry. And this tells you about the the frenzied flame village. Cool. Lore hunt going well. I discovered something off stream that now we're engaging in on stream. Um, so we're I'm very very excited. <laughs> Strange brew. No, I'm just Canadian. We we use hoser. <laughs> <laughs> find the thing it's talking about yeah well this is how you're supposed to i'm i i can't believe i missed it i feel like i went everywhere there i don't know what it's talking about i don't know where it's talking about but this might give some more context to ronnie and why everyone thinks she's evil so i'm very very engaged and interested in this um i did read it last i was way too excited i'm sorry i found it and i was like i'll wait for stream i'll wait for stream then i'm like and my face was like For like a solid 10 minutes. Ronnie, did you mean Selen? No, no, no? The Graven Witch is, uh, okay. So they might be talking about Selen, actually, now that you're talking, that you mention it. But I thought they were talking about, uh, Ronnie, because she is described as Ronnie the Witch and she is described as Graven and Craven, isn't she? Or maybe, maybe that's Selen. Forgot Raph is Canadian? Oi, how could you forget there, bud? Is a Ronnie thing? Because Preceptor Celevis is linked with Ronnie. So that's why I thought Scrim Ronnie is evil, but she she killed the god for the first time and she follows the dark path and she warns you. Like she she follows the dark path just because we never see her doing direct anything directly evil. She is quite an evil character. To other people. From the gesture. No no no, I know, but I'm saying that Pre Preceptor Celevis are both like is is linked with Ronnie, so I thought that maybe the Graven Witch. First we're gonna help Yura though. Graven Witch. The word Graven, Craven, they're used for several people. I know that Selen is described that way, but Ronnie is also a witch. A nerd? Okay, I can't use Nebula because I think I'll hit Yura. 
I don't know if there's friendly fire. Oh, easy game! Easy. Let's go. You're a teabagging with me. You're a teabagging with me. You're a teabagging with me. You're a we're teabagging. You're a. <laughs> Ash of War, Raptor of the Mists. Raptor of the Mists. Duck into a low stance, momentarily vanishing. If an enemy attack connects, avian wings will allow for a quick escape into the air. Oh, so this is what this is like uh Mist Raven, no? Like I can also be wrong. Like you can let me make mistakes. It's okay. Like it's it's just oh man, now I'm kinda disappointed, honestly. <laughs> I thought it'd be much cooler than it is. Oh well. Yura! Are you here? Ah, he is here! Is, look at this man! He always hides off to the side! Oh, oh, it's you. Thanks for your help. He sounds so scared. My bloody finger was a thorn in my side. And now I'm finally rid of him. Here's a token of thanks. Please, take it. I may not have much time. For what? I'm dying to see you, Eleonora. Violet bloody finger. So what? Yes, I've been tracking Eleonora for quite some time. She is the deadliest of all bloody fingers. It's a good weapon. She's felled many an old hand already, but in spite of her cess blood zealotry, Eleonora is a proud knight. If she comes for you, do not think twice. You must flee. There is no shame in self-preservation. I literally fought an Eleonora the other day and it was fine. I prefer Eleonora, even though it's not how you say it, so probably it's going to continue to mispronounce it. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again, if fate permits. You know, what is it with everyone who's coded as coming from Japan in these games as being obsessed with a weapon? Every single one of them. Like, we have, uh, it's cut in Dark Souls 1, but we have, um, Shiva of the East goes crazy over the Chaos Blade. Uh, in Demon Souls, I forgot his name, goes crazy for... Uh, the Cursed Blade, which I can't remember the name of. Uh, it's always like, oh, I go crazy for weapon, you know what I'm saying? But it's probably, it's probably, uh, oh, right, Satsuki, Satsuki. Yeah, yeah, it's Satsuki um, in Demon Souls. So him, he, he he's going for the woman, but the the weapon is named after her as well. That's actually pretty freaking cool. He literally tells you that he uses a polearm too, which is really nice. Pretty interesting. Okay, so let's take a look. You know, I'm a little bit bummed now. Let's try to find this. So, there are some ruins. Where are there some ruins? Because it can't be... It can't be Pitya. I mean, maybe this is literally the ruins. Maybe there's just a gap here that I missed, or something hidden down here that I missed. Um... Yeah, let's look. Like, I feel like I spent 10,000 years looking through the three sisters, but quite possibly I just missed it. Satsuki was the first red fan in the Give Me Hell in a FromSoft game. Tough. Yeah. It's never I go crazy for this cool fashion. It should be much more realistic in this community. True. I would kill for fashion. You know that. I've told you so many times. It's got to be here, though. Because, like, wait, hang on. Where is Selevis's tower? Here. So let's start from Selevis's tower because he'd want it to be convenient for him to do this but these are the ruins so it's got to be this <sighs> is it possible that i just missed it this whole time yeah, well yeah very clearly so this is Selevis's thing so let's start from here because this is where
Who's provincial now, loser? Who's provincial now? But like, maybe it's invisible. Because there's those invisible guys here, and we have seen an invisible wall hides EG. Right? So maybe it's the same concept. I've never seen an invisible floor. So... I don't think it's that. It's probably not an invisible floor. Oh man. But it's gotta be these ruins. Because... Well, it doesn't have to be these ruins. Maybe it's back here. Wait. Uh... No. I would think it'd be like real close to the tower though. Hmm. The tower itself is accounted for, so there can't be hidden walls within it. Well, there might be. Maybe it leads to the ruins from inside. Did I not? Did I check for it? I don't know if I checked for hidden walls. I always say hidden walls, even though it's absolutely nonsensical. Illusory walls. Did I check for illusory walls back here? I don't remember. I mean, this is not like a good illusory wall location. Although, remember what happened with Moog? Remember? You never know. Note say again. The note said... I'll read it in just one moment. Hiding a dirty secret in a cellar among the ruins not far from the Sisters 3. See, now that I know that it's about selling, I, I think I know what we're going to find here. And this is very important and good. Because we know we're trying to find Selen a new body. So quite possibly there's another body there for her. Um, and that, that kind of... I, that would have been much funner to find out. By finding it. But oh well. If that's the case too, that's a quest line I need to do. It's kind of a bummer that three sisters refers to the towers. I thought it referred to each of the three three daughters of Renala. The truth is sometimes a lot more boring than the lore theory, is what I have learned and continue to learn. Drang Lake hitting every wall. Yeah. Oh, now I know there's a hidden wall. Yeah, sorry, Cannibal, but to be honest with you, once you're here, unfortunately, I'm going to talk about the things I'm doing. It's a secure situation all over again. <laughs> it's just, I'm gonna talk about the things that I've done. <laughs> it's a risk you take. That's why I'm not even hanging out in streams that are behind me, because I know chat tends to say things in other streams too. Like, I'm hardly hanging out in streams. I've hung out a few PvP streams. They tend to be not lore spoilery at all. Okay, so I got attacked at a couple of these ruins, and I'm wondering if that was a hint, by the way, there might be a hidden wall here, you know? Because I ran everywhere here a lot. I was looking everywhere. Because I was looking for something that might trigger something because of, uh, like, Ronnie not showing up, basically. Watching Elden Ring streams, we are going to see stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Aha. So this is where I was attacked. Like, it's got to be these ruins. There's no other ruins anywhere nearby. Like, even looking here... Yeah, it's nothing. Like, unless I mean, like, here, but then there's better ways to describe it. It's gotta be somewhere here. Oh, it's not the only invis objects you can break. Yeah, yeah, but the floor being invisible would be a little bit odd. Like, I've broken solid objects now. I've broken big walls like this for EG, right? So, like... Ugh. Because if it's a cellar, it would be like the floor. So that'd be weird. Wait, what is this? Did I see this? Did I, did I check this out appropriately? Oh, I went way further north than I meant to. I wish I could remember where the glintstone dragon was, right? 
Yeah, we're not doing any PvP yet. I wanna I wanna try to figure out this quest. But PvP will be the first thing we do before we do much other progression. This was just stuff that I missed. Um, and I wanted to catch up with. It could be hidden okay. It could be a rock wall. Because we found that before, right? But the one reason that I'm like, maybe not, and this is perhaps a false assumption, is that it specifically mentioned the ruins in the note. Okay, um, chat, we're, we're doing, we're doing yay or nay only. Yes or no only. All right, you ready? Am I looking for an illusory wall right now? <laughs> this is so confusing, I'm getting yays and nays. <laughs> Off to a great start, it is indeed. All right, so we got, we got yeses and we got mostly noes, but we got a lot of yays as well. I'm about to start a poll. This isn't democracy. This is literally okay. Okay, is it is it the the term illusory wall that's bothering people? Am I looking for something that when I roll into it will reveal that it was invisible? Am I looking for an illusory anything? Perhaps it was the wall. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough on the wall part. <laughs> it's technically, technically is not a wall. Okay, fair enough. We've learned a lot today. I've answered two questions with one. <laughs> one more poorly worded qu questions. Is it or isn't it? Oh! Uh, sir? Uh... This is a game was supposed to have a happy ending! This isn't Dark Souls, you know? Maybe it's supposed to be happy at the end! No, my buddy! I shouldn't have freed you! But I, I don't regret it! Light Arena, no! I thought you would snap out of it! Please don't kill me, brother. I'm dead. Oh god, I got stuck in a tree. Not gonna lie, uh, this is this is way more of a, oh, I don't want to be here. Uh, you know how I feel about this. This is way more from soft than it is Martin. Martin doesn't do pathos like this. Sorry, Martin fans. She says without really reading the books. I don't care. I've seen half the show. It's enough. <laughs> like this is literally how from soft does. Yeah. Going crazy either way, at least this way can put him out of his misery. That's true. Yeah, it, it's it's the right thing to do. Worst way to get the rail from secret hunting? I know, but I'm glad I found him or I might not have, because I kept going back to Ronnie's. It's pronounced Gurm. Also, oh, sorry. Gurm is actually uh, actually Gurm is a is a is a uh, uh what do you call it like a country in uh Dark Souls Two actually. So <laughs> sorry. <gasps> He's sad. He sits with the wolves in front of Ronnie's thing, but he killed a wolfies. We don't get any dialogue because he's mad. We were supposed to tell him that Ronnie says he loves her. She loves him. But we couldn't. <laughs> I don't like getting armor like that. Well-worn black armor of the man-wolf blight. 
The pelt serves as a cape protecting from cold. Lithe was the blade of Ronnie, but the cold bothered him anyway. I guess he should learn to let it go. Blythe, who served as Ronnie's shadow, was a loyal ally who would defy destiny itself it if it would have him turn upon his lady. Aww. We're like a short Blythe now, but it's so heavy. It's so heavy, Jed. I can't wear it. Overloaded. Tell me about it. My emotions are overloaded right now. Oh my god. I'm glad we came back here, but like, my <laughs> uh, we We just killed Blyde. Let's go tell EG. I probably passed the sword. I'm sorry. <laughs> my feelings. It's so pretty. Like, I would think it's distinctive, right? Like, oh, there it is right there. Royal Great Sword. Greatsword decorated in royal carrion style, favored weapon of Blythe the Half-Wolf. In defiance of the fate he was born to, Blythe swore to serve no master but Ronnie. As proof, the sword was imbued with a cold magic at the moment the oath was <laughs> sworn. So, it's kind of like Ronnie's mo moon sword, whatever. Oh, it has no strength scaling, so it is broken. I see. That sucks. Well, there's a lot of broken things in this game, is what we're learning. Oh man. So if it isn't a wall, what the heck else could it be that I'm looking for here? Like, is this a wall? I would call that a wall, so it must not be a wall. Could it be an illusory floor? That wouldn't make any sense. Like how, like, how do you find an illusory floor? You just roll everywhere? Like, the fuck? Oh, shit! I saw it as it... Woo! Let's go, baby! Secrets! Secrets bow before my ability to find them! Show me... Okay, this place is fucked up. Uh, hi! Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, carrying retaliation. By the way, I tested carrying retaliation yesterday. It is actually full on truly broken. Um, I did not use it in the previous patch, but apparently in this recent patch, they broke it even more because apparently, according to some people, it worked okay, but it only worked if you parried your own stuff. But carrying is truly actually broken right now. Like, it does not work as in, like, it, the projectiles are invisible. It's really bad, which really sucks because carrying is so important for an invader. Um, I wasn't sure if it was broken broken. It is 100% broken, yeah. Know what else is broken? My heart! <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry. I'm trying to, I'm trying to explore the Celibus' sex dungeon, if you can give me one moment. What the hell are you? So this must be where Celibus is making his puppets, huh? So this is an omen killer. This is a perfumer. <gasps> Wait. No, oh my god, I thought it was Bach for a moment. That's not Bach, right? Oh my god. Celibus's puppet. Do not touch. What in the fuck are you talking about? What puppet? This one? <gasps> the jar! The jarman! Dude, his neck does not look so good. Um, which which puppet am I not supposed to touch, Celibus? I can't believe this man literally just put do not touch my puppet in, in his fucking sex basement. Like some kind of- <gasps> Let's go! Transparent pro- okay, well, now I kind of saw this because of what people were saying, so I'm kind of bummed, but whatever, at least you found this. 
Hi, Selen. Welcome back to the land of the living, baby girl. My apprentice. Just how long has it been? I don't know, like two days. Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Yeah. But still, I've shed those awful shackles. Uh-huh. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice, I owe this all to you. So, um, you know how there's a bed here and I said this was a sex dungeon? Selin, so, um, also no f bare feet? Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal. Okay, well, we should go to the Academy then, figure out what's going on with her. Don't often get Welsh voice actors. Is she Welsh too? I'm very bad at identifying accents, so that's really cool to see. Dude, Selavis was like, literally, bruh, do not touch my puppet. This is my puppet. Do not, only I touch this puppet. Selavis deserves to die. I should have ended his existence. Well. Well. Sella might want to see a doctor. I mean, she said it's young and full of vigor. I think she's fine. This one we thought he couldn't be more of a tool. Although, to be fair, maybe, like, Selin did visit here. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was, uh, you know, maybe they were both into it. I don't know. I ain't judging. Although, I do judge your taste in men, Selin. God damn, I thought you would higher standards than f***ing Selavis. Ugh. So, I don't know. Selavis got murdered in the end. It's still kind of interesting to think who murdered him. However, if the puppets can go after you can betray you like they did Pitya, then quite possible that's what happened to him. Did they murder him? I was thinking the puppets, considering if you look at him, he is in the same... Well, okay, you saw him. He's in the same pose as the puppets. So it's like he was turned into a puppet. Um, Could have been like a karmic thing. However, Pitya, when Pitya was killed by the puppets, he had a different pose. Um, I also considered Ronnie because Ronnie was going on her journey and her use for him was done. Because you know when she goes, she she cares for EG, she cares for Blight, she does not mention Selavis. So quite possibly it was like, all right, you've done your job for me. I'm going to kill you now. Bye. Quite possibly she just turned the puppets against him. Okay, just want to double check. Sorcerer Selen. All righty. Well, that's a really sick quest line that I wasn't expecting. Let's go to... The Academy. And if I were the Academy, where would I go? Well, you'd have to take out Renala, right? Who's EG again? The giant blacksmith. Any side quest so far had ended in a happy way. Oh! <laughs> it's f***ing dead! Fuck <laughs> no! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, dude. He's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. It's Bog. He's dead. <laughs> he didn't even give me anything. Give me a drop. Dude, he's got his ass up. This is inappropriate. Do you know the lore here? Well, everybody who gets reborn from Renala via Larval Tear is an incomplete being. And uh, the only reason we are able to actually be reborn is because we have the Great Rune of the Unborn, which allows us to perfect rebirth. Children born anew by Renala are all frail and short-lived, imperfect beings, each and all. But Bach wanted to be happy, so I let him die happy. However, he was an imperfect being and he died. Yeah, no, trust me, I knew the lore. The moment I gave him the larval tear, I was like, this isn't going to end well. But he sounded so happy! How could I say no to him? Art thou me not? I would but Is it does any questline and a happy ending arrives here? Ah! <laughs> yeah. Why did she have so much trouble rebirthing, folks? Well, the rune was not from Ranala, the rune was from the amber egg. Um, and she had access to it, but it didn't like 
possess, like she didn't possess it. The, the game is very clear in telling us that Renala is not the one with the rune. So it's pretty interesting. Okay, let's go talk to EG and then we'll explore the academy and try to find, try to find, uh, Selen. Funny story, by the way, uh, Selen's doll body does have a different face from her. Similar, but they are different. Greetings, my fellow. Blythe's death. Unthinkable. How could Blythe? How did he break free from his cell? Uh... No. More importantly, Oops. Blythe became a curse that plagued Lady Rani. Yet even in madness, gave himself to her. I made a grave misjudgment. And I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blythe. When I do, I only hope you'll accept my apology. Aww. Aww. That's so touching. Go into a cell, so I have no idea what EG's talking about on two cares. Yeah, it's pretty hard to find, uh, to be honest with you. I got- I found it in the most roundabout way that is absolutely not intended, but I got lucky. Um, and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> what I will say is, um... I don't know, shit's sad, dude. Shit's real sad. Dude, this is like Depresso's stream. Quests are damn vague sometimes. Yeah, but I've, I've had pretty good luck with finding them. I am so happy about that. I feel like Yura has been pure luck for me and literally because of my second character. That's are extremely vague without a guide. Yeah, but I like that. I like that because every one I've discovered, I feel so... I get a sense of pride and accomplishment, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I'm kind of getting like this, like a weird benefit because yeah, mine, it's because of my second playthrough, but my second playthrough is distinctly behind this playthrough, so. Hi. Hi. Now we're gonna walk through just because um, when I teleported from bonfire to bonfire for Ronnie's quest, I couldn't find it. Okay, can you, can you f*** off for a second? Jesus. Doll won't talk to him unless you exhaust the same dialogue like four times. Yeah. I'm probably gonna be really irritated about some of the quests I didn't finish, you know what I'm saying? But uh, so far I found everything. <laughs> no, no, I know, I know I've missed stuff. You don't have to tell me actually, streamer. I know, I know. Just let me let me joke around a little bit. <laughs> This stuff in the wrong order, it sucked. I definitely, I, like, I empathize. I totally get it. It can feel really frustrating. I picked up a quest already, for sure, on this playthrough, uh, related to Blackguard, which isn't a big one, but, I mean, I lost a really cool gesture because of it. So there's some good and bad. Saw your title? Yeah, I found... Dude, people are coming in from the Polygon video. Let's go. They'd be like, hey, by the way, you're on Polygon. I'm famous now! Polygon! Simone replied to my comment, dude! Hi, uh, what the fuck are you Dingus is doing? I think I found them before. Not the wrong order if it's a first playthrough, especially if it changes the outcome. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Like, you are gonna miss stuff. I've accepted that, even though I, I kind of haven't because I keep saying, Oh, but I want to find everything. <laughs> Wait a second, hello? Hello? Hey, y'all praying? <gasps> Just casual carry a knight armor that I missed? What the f***? I didn't realize I didn't have that chat. I thought I did because it's from the network test. Armor of the enchanted knights that once served the Karian royal family. The enchanted knights, anointed by the Lunar Queen, were all heroes of the highest honors but fell into disarray with the decline of the royal family. I want, like, a really big one. Like, a really big Mimikyu, so that I could, like, have it. You know? 
Oh, there, if you kill the knight in the area? Uh, or I just never noticed. But that is possible. Like, it's been a while since I've been through this area. But, like, sincerely, I think it's it's just me missing it. Because I've never been down here. Oh, yeah, I've just never been here. Because, look, like I, I've been down there, kind of. You know, there's probably stuff down there. Like, I haven't taken this whole elevator. How the f*** am I supposed to... There's, they don't want me to make that. That's absurd. That's too high. Where, where do I... Hang on. Attend! Attend? Attend. Oh, what's this? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I found it. <laughs> oh my god! You make you a body pillow? Too big. Oh, uh, when did I pull up Moonveil exactly? I keep accidentally pulling up Moonveil. When the Moonveil life chooses you. Hair armor is neat and I wore it for most of my playthrough. It's great armor. I wore it in the network test because it was like the default class. One of the default classes. It was really good. And that's why I literally thought that I had it already. Because I had the rest of the Carrion Knight stuff. Carrion Knight. Carrion. 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 Yeah, Carrion. Chandai was great in that test. Really was, yeah. I was looking for Carrion Piercer for so long because of that. Wait a second, did I go in a big circle? Am I? Is this a dark path Ronnie had to traverse alone? <laughs> no. Hers is more metaphorically dark. This is a dark path I'm trying to traverse to get to freaking Selen though. You know what? I forgot about something here that I kept meaning to go back to, and I never did. Uh, there's a- there's an Alabaster Lord up here? That I never killed. Because he beat the shit out of me, and I was scared. But that was when I was level 20, loser. I should remember this, because, uh, yeah, I didn't know how to do markers on the map by then. Did you read the Carrion Armor? You know, I should read all of it. I just read one piece. Yeah, so this is gravity well, as opposed to gravity bad. Fire is a projectile of condensed, condensed gravitational force. Those struck by it will be pulled toward the caster. A gravitational technique studied by the young Radon. His master was an alabaster lord with skin of stone. A few dozen levels turn the tides. I know, right? Okay, let's read the Helm of the Carrion Knight. Carrion, Carrion. I say it different every time. Some things are just going to be like that. Uh, nope. Same, same description. I love the intricacy of everything to do with the Karian royal family, though. It's beautiful. I really should explore this wheel somewhere. Because, like, it might take me some cool new places, but, um... I wanna, why don't we go up on a little bit of a trip, Marino? Just right up here. And then if we go down, we'll just end up at the Iron Maiden. So, I don't know, I feel like I'm missing stuff on it. Well, our catcher spell super annoying. Yeah, people keep using it on me, and it's just like, do you want me to come toward you? Because I can come toward you. I'm a melee build, I'll do it. I'll freaking do it. So this is where we met Thoughts. Right here, this is cute little body, chillin'. With his precious- the way he died is actually so sad. It's like he was staring at his spell. <laughs> Poor baby. Poor baby. Dude, it's like he fell asleep peacefully with his spell! Anyway, that was a long time ago, but just, you know, thinking out loud. Now, if I were Selen, where would I be? Oh, dude, maybe we should go talk to Jaren. Be like, ah, you know, if somebody, not me, of course, were to uh, <laughs> have freed. It doesn't say he's there anymore. Good ending for Thops, though? I mean, yeah. I'm so upset we don't get a drop. Okay, Jaren is gone. Makes sense. Why do they have the stone heads on, though? The stone heads represent the various origins. Uh, originators of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. So they each have a head that represents the school that they follow. 
effectively. Wow, it's kind of interesting. I, I think I knew this, but the hidden wall doesn't vanish. That's actually really sick. Alright, it's gonna be a bit of a hassle to find her, isn't it? Although, what if she's... Now, nah, she's gotta be here. She doesn't need a key. She's selling. And it would be kind of rude if they were like, oh, by the way, uh, I'm going to the gate to the to the academy, and then she's not at the academy. Like they FromSoft might do that, but I'm hoping they don't. Yeah, it's kind of cool. We see Renala here with her staff. We also see uh these things. Each and every one of them is a is a head available in the game. The two up there are the twins. The twin hats. I love regarding those helmet heads. Oh yeah, yeah. The thing about it is I figured it out like a long time ago when I was talking about it, but yeah. Basically, each of these guys is one of the originators of the school. So... There's a helm that looks like him, like him, like him. Uh, the twin helm is these two. Uh, one that looks like Salen, who I, I don't know, maybe it's just Renala, maybe it's like a unique one. I, I have to get the lore off it to find out. I was really hoping she would be here. I just realized she wouldn't go after Renala. Because then you wouldn't be able to get reborn. Although it could be like a, like a, she'll kill Renala and then you'll be able to re get reborn off the egg thing, just like Rosaria. God, I want to do PvP. Like I, this is great too. Trust me. But oof. Lore class online. Nice info. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of, isn't it? I'm not done yet. Keep in mind, like there's still plenty to do and explore and find out. <gasps> Do you remember when these guys, like, annihilated me? Wow, that actually hurt. Damn. I'm preempting all the follow-up questions. <laughs> What does that sound? The boulder? Wait a second. How the fuck? Okay, that sound is really suspicious, but also, I forgot about this freaking door. So, that room is isolated, so it could be a situation... The sound is so weird. Okay. Oh, right there, duh. Jeez, okay. Hi, hi. I have found the other side of the door. But hey, good we came back here. C'est parfait. Let's go. What's this? What is the purpose of this room? A ladder! Oh, this must be how you turn off the boulders. That's the sound! It's a pumpkin head! It was a pumpkin head. Goodbye. Nice boulders, by the way. Well, I'm glad I found that. A little late, but who cares? Better late than never, as they say. C'est parfait? Oui. <gasps> a new beetle hat that I'm never gonna wear. Blue green scarab worn directly on the head. <laughs> Sully reduces the FP cost of sorceries, but increases damage taken. That's actually pretty strong. I'm never gonna use it because it's ugly as hell. You know what I'd love? Actually, no cap. I was actually thinking about this. I would love the ability to hide your hat in P or uh, in game. Like, you know, make it so your helmet's invisible. So you could wear it. Uh, you could wear nothing if you wanted to. Um... Purely for fashion purposes. 
but also so you could wear an ugly hat for fashion. And for balance purposes, they could make it so people can see it in PvP, so others can see it, but you can't. Alright, message? Uh, Daddy's offline. So, that would be fair, because then everyone could see it. So it's not like, you know, you can't be wearing a hat that increases your stats. Like, you know, people should be able to see it, but in you, like, it's invisible to you. Okay, so I don't know what the selling is. I have one... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna check up there. But, up there being towards Renala. But, I have one idea of where she could be. She could be where we found the Azure staff with all the, the crystals and stuff. I think it was the Azure staff. You know what I mean. One of the fancy items. What is this Polygon video? I was in their recent Margit video. Just look up Polygon Margit and you'll see my face for two seconds. Two whole sec- <gasps> Let's go! Be summoned to challenge Sorcerer Salen? Okay, sure, I don't care. Kick her ass. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm doing it. I knew it! It's Jaren! Graven witch, enemy of Caria. I vow this time to crush both your frame and your primal glintstone. I am Jaren, bringer of your death. Are you punching me, Selen? I thought we were friends. Just because I'm coming to invade you doesn't mean that we can't be friends still. Haven't you ever heard of good manners? Yeah, Darren! Darren, tea bag with me. Darren! <laughs> Let's go! Woo! Goodbye! Selen's bar. <gasps> Let's go! Witch's Glintstone Crown! Oh, that's it? Well, that makes sense, because our outfit's the same. Let's go, we got the hat! He's doing the, I hate to see you go, but I'd love to watch you leave walk. Yeah, exactly. Hey, chat, I know you want to tell me stuff, but too bad. Shush. <laughs> oh, look at her face! Let's go! Here's the point that I have for you, Okay. Uh, besides you guys being unable to contain yourselves, making it very clear there's alternate endings to the cutscene, or to the questline. If Selen didn't want to die, she should have considered making herself easier to find. Okay? One of the Glintstone crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy increases intelligence and arcane to the detriment of stamina. This gentle-looking crown was granted to a scholar who excelled in her studies, which also merited the title of witch. So witch is indeed a term given to women who excelled in their studies. So that's why both Salen and Ronnie are called witches. Nice to know. Nice to know. I like that. Anyway, um, yeah. Arc 2, yeah, Arc 2, uh-huh. This one still do the thing when you do erudition. Good question for science. I'm so excited for that hat. Yeah, you know we're gonna do New Game Plus. You guys aren't allowed to tell me anything else, right? Like, you know you're not allowed to tell me that I did anything wrong, right? That's still a quest line ending. I wish you could test gestures. Oh, you can tell. You can. Duh. Okay. Wait for it. What -a! <laughs> I look like a nightlight. I look like a light up pencil. <laughs> I love it. <gasps> That's such a good thumbnail, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Come to me, my children. Come to your death. Let's go. Let's go. I don't really like this this uh, chess piece anymore. We're going back to our usual. Just wrapping a few things up. Uh huh. We will go back to playing the game. Uh, I would like to try to find maybe where Jaren is. Like Jaren is normally. Hang on. Maybe he's here. God, we've killed so many darlings today. Bok, Blyd, Salen. Ah, I knew he'd be. They're always here, dude. Hi. My thanks 
for the aid. No problem. You're much easier to find. I heard from E.G. that Lady Rani might have found herself a champion, but I didn't know he was talking about you. You've helped me fulfill an old promise. This is the least I can do for you. Please, take it. Sick, dude! He gave me a Titanite slab! Let's go! Well, I must be leaving now. Brave warrior. If the fates deign it. No. We shall indeed meet again at the next glorious tourney. So you do not get that dialogue if you haven't completed, um, if you haven't done the Ronnie quest line, I'm sure, because, like, he wouldn't talk about that, right? So, just to be very clear here, I'm sure there's an alternate ending to Selen's quest line, which has become very clear from chat being a little bit overly, overly eager, but we just got some really interesting lore on Jaren, which I think is worth it. I do not have one for Jaren yet. Okay, Jaren. So he's an interesting one. Loyal to Radon. Organized. So he's made a few promises. A festival. And this also suggests weirdly, in a weird way, that Ronnie and Radon had similar goals, but that doesn't track with because Radon was holding up the stars, which prevented Ronnie from fulfilling your destiny. I'm not sure. I have to. I have to work that out a little bit. But Jaren apparently wanted to help Ronnie, so he doesn't have a problem with mages. He has a problem with with the Craven Witch, but he's fine with witches in general. Maybe him in the festival was his way of assisting Ronnie by getting Radon killed. Yes, but he does express a loyalty to Radon as well, and he wasn't able to- Unless, unless I'm misremembering. I think he did want to do honor to Radon by putting him down. Um, all our names are the same. Doesn't narrow it down. Doesn't narrow it down, I'm afraid. He has a problem with people who are too difficult to find. True. What great runes do you have? I have... The great rune of, uh, like, Godric, Radon, Unborn, and the one I haven't upped it yet, but I have more gods. Um, but yeah, so I think he did respect Radon, or at least he put him down. So quite possibly he was always working for Ronnie, and that's why he made a promise to Ronnie to kill Radon, but he respected Radon. Which is why he wanted to turn it into a festival, which Radon would have appreciated. So, quite possibly, they were allied. Okay, sweet. This is fantastic, fantastic lore. Well, I must be leaving now. If the fates deign it, may we meet again. Tarnished. Can you tell me where you're going? Because, like, I would love to well, meet you again. If the fates deign Because whenever you say you're leaving, I don't know what that means. <laughs> It never means anything to me. That was sweet. Okay. It's weird that we found Jaren here, but Selen was not in here. Maybe I had to walk in? Ah, whatever. We'll find out. Instead of teleporting in? I don't know. Well, we found quite a few more hidden things. I do want to do some PvP here in a bit, but... Let's see. I still don't know what's up with this wall, but let me, let me put this stuff down. So you're a... Uh... Let's go talk to EG. Let's see if there's anything to say about Jaren. The reward he gave you? Oh, I think it allows me to upgrade to plus to, to max. Maybe? We'll see. <gasps> oh! Oh! EG? EG? EG, no! Oh! 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 No! No! They killed him! They assassinated him! Wait. Wait. The Black Flame Assassins were conjured by Ronnie, and then they're going to kill- What?!
Everybody dead. Everybody is fucking dead. I can't believe how many people have died today. Helm fashioned from a crystal looking glass said to have never left War Counselor E.G.'s head. Easily broken and weak against striking attacks. Worn by those committed to high treason, it wards off the intervention of the Greater Will and its vassal fingers. E.G. was afraid, terrified of his own treachery. Eternal City's ritual implements. So, it, more links to Nokron. Basically, he, he knew that they would come after him. That, that's why he was scared. Okay, so, um, I think, I think, I think, it might, they might be gone by now. Um, I think that I, I thought they were wolf corpses on the ground, but I think they were assassin corpses at the base of Ronnie's tower where we found Blyde. Um, so I, I think that quite possibly Blyde, even in his madness, that's what EG meant. Blyde in his madness was still protecting Ronnie and Ronnie's tower. Um, which is, which is something that we see there, but it's just like, I thought they were just the wolf bodies or whatever. Yeah! Okay, so Blyde killed the assassins who were going after Ronnie as well. That's weird though, so it looks like the Black Knives have their own um, alliances now. They were initially- That's why the ringleader is trapped here. In the- in the- here. Uh, this. Ringleader's ever jail. The reason she's trapped here is probably because she betrayed Ronnie afterward. After Ronnie, like, used them. I really want to try to find this secret. Maybe we'll spend a bit of time searching for the stupid turtle again. I mean, the stupid dog again. I don't know. Dude, we found so much stuff today, but everybody's dead. <laughs> this place is so empty. There's nobody here anymore. Except for this idiot who doesn't know anything. I have some bell bearings for you, but before I give them away, I should read them. Salen's bell bearing. Sorcerer Salen's bell bearing found upon her perished flesh. E.g. the smithing master's bell bearing found upon his perished flesh. Okay. Aww. Whoops. Nothing. Oh well. Well, there's a couple things I wanted to do, actually. Uh, and I guess since Selen is now deceased, we can do it. Because I was kind of waiting just in case I should wait, but now I'm like, eh, it's probably fine. So we're gonna do something real fun. And very easy. But yet satisfying. If only I could find where the bonfire that I'm looking for is. Here? No? Here? Here? Aha! Primeval Sorcerer Azure. They're not dead guy balls, they're dead guy bells. Who's even left here? Gideon? Hugh and Roderica. Hi. Oh shit, hello? You son of a- Okay, never mind. I thought it'd be fun, easy, and satisfying, but it turns out he's a stupid rock man. Well, never mind, I guess. He's not dead, he's just a stone. I wanted to kill him and take, I don't know, something he drops, maybe? He already gave me a spell, but I want more. Um, what do we do now? We can progression? Oh, right, I should, oh, I should check the stone. Smithing stone made by polishing a golden drought crap oh my god. Golden gravel stone, a scale of the ancient dragon lord and hidden treasure of Faramazula. The ancient dragon lord's seat is said to lie beyond time. This stone slightly twists time, allowing the creation of a weapon capable of slaying a god. <gasps> oh that might have to do with Hugh's quest line. 
Okay, well, we can't go here yet, but that's good. This is probably for later. 